Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, my lovelies. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am so happy you found me. I do so hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the Mama family. Mama's got your back, at least where makeup's concerned, and definitely when that makeup is cheap. Today is all about at-home nail care. Uh, I adore doing my nails. I It's just something that I have grown to really, really enjoy doing. The last time I went to an actual nail salon to get my nails done was before the pandemic. And I remember it costing something insane, like 60 bucks. And I remember thinking, there is just no way. There is no way that I can continue. To, it like literally almost made me mad. And I know that they're worth it. And I know that nail techs work really, really hard. I just didn't have the money. So I began my at-home nail journey. And I am so, so happy that I did. Uh, today's video is all about my very, very favorites. I'm going to share all of my tips and tricks. Guys, if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am so, so happy that you are here. If you enjoy the content, please make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, click the notification bell. Turn on all your notifications. So that way next time I upload, you can come right back here and we can hang out together again. Before we jump in to all the nail goodness, if you are wondering what is on my face today, I am so in love with my makeup today. I feel fierce and edgy and gorgeous. I, of course, did do a TikTok on today's look if you are interested. I will make sure to put the tags for all of my socials, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff in the description box below, along with a full list of everything that I'm going to be talking about in today's video. And of course, if you have any questions about anything I'm using or how I'm using it, all you have to do is leave me a comment and I will get back to you. So diving in to the good part of today's video. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about is ready to go press on glue on faux mammies. Uh, and these are probably my favorites out of everything I'm going to talk about in today's video. They're quick, they're easy, they're durable, and they're just, uh, they're, they're fun to do. So uh, if you guys notice, I change my nails once a week. I am the kind of person who gets bored very quickly with my nails. Uh, I can't change my hair, so I just, I focus on my nails. Every Sunday, I put a new set on. Uh, this week, uh, these are going on, this set is going on two weeks now because I went on vacation last week uh, and didn't have time to change them. But these are so freaking cute. Uh, this is what they look like. They're little aliens and cherries. So adorable. And these, again, have been on for almost two weeks and they still look stunning. Uh, th these are the Salon Perfect Modern Nostalgia Nails. Now, this is a different set than the ones that I have on right now, uh, but they're from the same line. These are my very favorite glue-on nails at the moment. They're fabulous. Uh, the they're so good. They're so good. I don't even know where to start. They are incredibly uniform. They're durable. They're long wearing. When it comes to press on manicures, there are a lot of different factors that go into making a really good, uh, like good quality set of press on nails. First and foremost, I need them to be durable. I need them. I'm rough on my hands. Uh, I'm a stay at home mom, but I'm a boy mom as well. I'm always rough housing. I'm forever cooking and washing dishes and doing laundry. I'm just very, very tough on my hands. And one of my absolute biggest pet peeves when it comes to a press on manicure is when they split down the middle. And I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but when you get a bad quality set of press-ons, you can wear a pair of nails for like a set of nails for like two hours. And then all of a sudden it, your nail will snag on something and you'll realize that there is this big long crack right down the center of your nail. And it is absolutely the worst. I, I cannot stand it. Uh, so when it comes to the salon, yeah, salon perfect nails, they're just they're perfect. Super, super sturdy. Also, they're incredibly uniform. That's another big pet peeve of mine. Uh, a lot of times, if uh, you get a cheaply made set of nails, uh, the shapes just are not uniform. There's wonky edges. They're kind of off center. They look crooked. It's just not cute. But when it comes to these, I find that they're always incredibly uniform. They're always super straight. There's no duck lip. They go on and they really do look like you went to a salon and had your nails done. These are stunning. Uh, again, the modern nostalgia is 
like one of my favorite lines, but they have so many others. They have a really gorgeous kind of holographic nails. Uh, they have some that are much more understated and kind of timeless. I really think this brand has something for everyone and they're, they're my favorite, my absolute favorite right now. Also, I really enjoy the sizes of these. Uh, so mm, a lot of times uh, brands, I don't even know, like the super cheap brands, they'll come out with the weirdest sized nails. And it seems like everything is either too big or too small. But when it comes to these, they just fit my fingernails perfectly. I really enjoy that there's 24 nails in here as well. That's uh, how brands will get you as well. Uh, so you go to the dollar store or you find a really cheap pack of nails. Uh, you don't quite look at it and there's only 12 nails in there. 12 nails is not enough to do your entire hand and heaven forbid one pops off and you have to replace it. Uh, so I really, really enjoy these because there are plenty of nails in here. And if I need to go in and replace a nail, I have a nail in the right size to replace it with. So that makes me really happy. Also, uh, it does come with a bottle of glue as well. The Salon Perfect glue is my favorite right now. It is so, so good. Chef's kiss, very, very long lasting. Uh, again, I've had these on for two, almost two weeks and I haven't had to replace a single nail. So really, really fantastic, fantastic quality. On top of that, they're incredibly affordable and accessible. I picked these up at my local Walmart for $7, which is a fantastic price point. These are so, so good. Now, the next brand I want to talk about is just a tiny bit more expensive, but definitely worth it. These are the Paint Lab, uh, Paint Lab Faux Mannies. And again, uh, all the same good things I have to say about Salon Perfect, I have to say about these ones. I really enjoy the prints on these specifically. Uh, this is the Cherry Set, and I just think they're so cute and so kitschy and just so much fun. Also, I really enjoy the shape of these. Uh, the Salon Perfect are my favorite shapes, but these ones are a close second. Uh, now, I don't know if you are a round tip or square tip girly. I very much used to be a squared tip girly. I thought squared tip looked the most natural. It looked the most gorgeous. It just, I thought it was like the bee's knees. As I got older though, uh, and started raising children, being tougher on my hands, I realized that a rounded tip is so much more functional. Uh, they're just easier to wear. When I was wearing a square tip, uh, I roughhouse with my son continuously and I would forever be stabbing him with the edges of my nails. Uh, it was hard to pick things up. Heaven forbid I had to pick up like a quarter or a penny or a credit card. It was just absolutely impossible. Uh, but when it comes to the more the almond shaped nails, which are my favorite, favorite, favorite. Uh, they're just easy to wear. If I need to like, heaven forbid, I need to like scratch my nose or any, they're just easier to wear. I can pick things up with them. Uh, and also I have found that with, uh, rounded tip nails, like with uh, almond nails, I can wear them longer, easier, if that makes sense. Uh, so the longer a square tip nail, in my opinion, the harder it is to wear there's just something about it that makes it difficult to me that catch on things. Uh, it's, you just, I can't hardly do anything in them, but when it comes to a rounded tip nail, I can wear them much longer and still like be easier to wear. I don't know. They just feel much more natural on my hands. I really, really enjoy uh, the shape of these. Also, this one comes with 24 nails, really in really fantastic, fantastic quality. Uh, the glue in here is really nice as well. Uh, these go for around $10 a pack, which again, I think is a very fair price. Uh, these are reusable. There is a way that you can soak these off. Uh, I think with Dawn dish detergent and vinegar, something like that, it kind of dissolves the glue and then you can just wear these uh, another time. However, uh, I wear mine sometimes. I'm a little rough on my hands and what oftentimes ends up happening. I'm getting so tongue tied, but what oftentimes ends up happening is I will wear them until the paint starts to kind of chip off at the edges. That way I just, well, after that starts happening, I just pop them off and put them in the trash, but they are reusable if you so desire. These are really, really nice. Now the last brand I want to talk about is Kiss. Now this is like an old school faux manicure kind of deal. They've been around for absolutely forever. 
this line in particular, the Gel Fantasy, are my absolute favorites. They're timeless, they're classy, they're understated, and they're just pretty, and they go with absolutely everything. Uh, so again, these are so, so pretty. These ones are the medium length, uh, and they are square tipped. Again, square tipped is not my favorite uh, anymore, but I used to absolutely adore these. Uh, and the reason that I love these so much is because they go with absolutely everything. Now, this line, like these exact style, do come in a multitude of different colors. They've got really beautiful pink ones and purple ones. They've got white ones, I think. Uh, these ones are stunning. And the reason I like these is because, again, they go with everything. So if I have a school function or if I have uh, a wedding to go to, something like that, if I need a set of nails that is not going to call too much attention to themselves, that is going to be timeless and go with absolutely everything, pairs perfectly with a little black dress or a cute little sundress, these are just beautiful. Also, I really adore the glitter on there. I think they're so stinking pretty uh, and they catch the light in such a beautiful, beautiful way. Now, the reason that this brand is kind of towards the bottom of my list is for no other reason than I don't think that they're as long lasting as the other two brands. Now, uh, they're durable and they're sturdy. Uh, it has nothing to do with the actual structure of the nail. It has everything to do with the way that they're painted. Uh, I feel like they're the top coat on these ones is not quite as heavy duty as the top coat on the Salon Perfect and the Paint Lab. Uh, I find that the paint on these chips and fades much faster than the other two brands. Now, if you're not as hard on your hands as I am, that's probably not going to be as big of a deal for you. But uh, I just I don't think it's quite as good a value for your money as the other two brands are. That aside, this is still a fantastic, fantastic nail brand. Again, it comes with 24 nails. There is a thing of glue included. Kiss Nail Glue is a classic. Very, very good stuff. Uh, not my favorite, but really, really great nonetheless. I definitely, uh, I, still, I still buy them. I still purchase them. They're really, really great, great quality. And then still in the same vein as the Kiss Nails, I wanted to talk about these. So this is just the 100 pack of like, full cover nail tips from KISS. Uh, this is in the long size. They have them in long, short, and medium. Uh, these ones are my favorite. Uh, I just really enjoy these, and especially when I'm feeling creative or if I just want something super simple and plain, these are my go-to. Again, very strong and sturdy, durable. They're well-made, long-lasting, uh, but these I can kind of customize and make my own, especially if I like I'm going through my nail polish collection and find nail polish that I just have to wear. Uh, these are going to be my go-to. I can just paint them and be on my way. Uh, if you are anything like me and your nails just will not grow, uh, these kind of enhance your nails, just kind of give you a little bit of that extra length, but you still get like the best of both worlds. You get the, the glue on manicure, but you also get to paint it yourself. These are so much fun. Also, the value on this is insane. I usually get anywhere from like five to six sets of nails out of this. Uh, this pack goes for around $10, uh, whereas, you know, these ones go for around seven. So you're getting seven sets compared to one. The value here is really, really good. You do have to put a little bit more work into it because you have to paint them yourself, but I do feel like it is incredibly worth it. Also, this comes with a bottle of glue as well. Really, really enjoy that. And again, Kiss Glue is a classic really really good stuff speaking of nail glue i wanted to point out a really really affordable one that just kind of blew my socks off last time i used it this is the la colors ultimate hold yeah ultimate hold super nail glue guys this stuff is like a dollar fifty pick this up at walmart you want to talk about some like insanely like it is it's good stuff it's good stuff it's got really long uh, durability it makes your nails lice and lice nice and long wearing uh, and it's super affordable as well uh, again i always have my nails done there's not a time that i leave my house where my nails are not done uh, and you never know it doesn't matter how good you do it sometimes you're just rough on your hands and one decides it wants to ping off uh, so i always make sure i have a bottle of nail glue somewhere in my vicinity just in case i have to do a repair on the go this stuff is good now, moving on to application, uh, when it comes to applying a set of pre-made manicures, uh, pre-made nails, I do think that application is incredibly important. Uh, I don't think a lot of people stress application too much. I mean, how complicated could it be? You take it out of the package and you glue it onto your nail. But I think prepping the nails is the most important step out of the whole thing. Uh, so 
the first thing you need is a nail file. Now my favorite nail files are made by Revlon. They're just, I get these in a pack of like 20 or 30 for a couple bucks at Walmart. Uh, but I like to take the super coarse side and very, very gently. There is no reason for you to like go to town on your nail and like make it paper thin. The only thing we're looking to do is create just a little bit of texture on the surface of the nail to give the glue something to hold on to. So I like to take that uh, coarse side and gently rub it, rub it over the surface of my nail just to get that shiny layer off. Uh, beforehand, I make sure and wash my nails or wash my hands really, really well. Then I'll go over with a uh, cotton ball and a little bit of uh, acetone just to get any nail uh, oils that might be on my nails off. And then I go in with my file and very, very gently run it over at the top of my nail just until that glossy, shiny layer is gone. Again, we're just looking to create a little bit of texture. Then I go in with my nail glue and I will put one drop of glue on the back of the faux nail, directly onto the back of the faux nail. I don't ever put any glue onto my actual nail. That is a recipe for disaster. Too much glue is just going to, it's just going to make your job so much harder. Too little glue and you know, it's not going to stick. So I find that one full drop of glue is perfectly enough for every single nail. So I'll take that one nail, one drop of glue, but I think also one of the biggest, uh, one of the biggest things is making sure that you spread that glue evenly over the back of the faux nail. Now, a lot of people just put the glue on and then try to press it onto their, their nail. Don't do that. What ends up happening is you get air bubble pockets. You end up getting glue that kind of smushes out the edges uh, and your skin gets all glued together. You take that one drop of glue and make sure to distribute it evenly uh, over the entire surface, the entire back of the faux nail, and then starting at your nail bed, pressing upwards to make sure you get all the air bubbles out and just press it and hold it. And I like to hold it for seven seconds and you're good to go. Uh, also, it works for just about any set of nails I've ever done. Uh, and it's kind of like, again, it's like the, the magic recipe. Because again, I've had these on for about two weeks and I haven't had to replace one yet. So I'm really, really happy uh, with the system that I've come up with. Again, uh, too little glue and they're not going to stick, but too much glue and you're just going to end up with air bubbles and uh, a big giant mess. Also, uh, when you use just that one drop of glue, you don't have to worry about making those like super messy edges. You know, when the uh, glue kind of squeezes out and oozes out uh, underneath the edge of the nail and it kind of makes that build up uh, by your cuticle. It's not cute. One drop of glue, I promise you, is all you're going to need. It's going to work perfectly for you. Moving on to the really fun part uh, of today's video, and that is some of my very favorite nail polishes and nail polish brands. Uh, now, when it comes to nail polish, uh, it doesn't matter, man, woman, uh, child, doesn't matter. If you wear nail polish, I do think there are, are a few certain staples that you need to have in your collection, uh, just should the occasion arise, right? The first of which is a true red. And my favorite true red of all time is from OPI. This is the, uh, the shade Big Apple. It is fantabulous. It is the most gorgeous, true classic red. It is, it just looks good on anybody. It looks good on any undertone. Uh, and the thing that I love about OPI in general is their brushes, like the actual brush tip is so perfect. It's not too big. It's not too little. Uh, it carries just the perfect amount of product, like the perfect amount of nail polish, and it just applies so beautifully. Now, it's not the quickest drying thing in the world, but it is so glossy and so shiny. Uh, it's never patchy. It's never streaky. So, so pretty. This is the shade Big Apple. It is the most beautifully neutral. It's not too warm, but it's not too cool. There's no orange in there, but there's also not a ton of blue. It is a perfectly neutral, gorgeous, classic red. It's going to look good on everyone. Uh, one of my favorite, favorite places to wear red nail polish is on my toes. I love red nail polish on my toes. Not a big uh, lover of it on my fingers, but the toes are a go, go, go for me. This is the most beautiful color. Also, I think this color is perfect. With, it doesn't matter at any season, right? Summer, winter, spring, fall, doesn't matter. Red is always appropriate. Uh, and I just love it so, so much. Uh, I do prefer red on the toes more so than the fingers. But again, if you like a red nail, wear a red nail. 
the next color I think everyone should have in their nail polish collection is a good nude. And I have a couple of different options. Uh, the first of which is from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Fast Gel Nail Polish. This is a fairly new release from Maybelline. I think it's maybe a couple years old by now, uh, but new in terms of nail polish, I guess. This is so fantastic. I also really, really enjoy the bottle. I think the bottle is both distinctive and fun. It's easy to hold. I also really love how long the handle is. It makes it really easy to grip onto and to hold onto. This is the shade. I know it has a shade name. Can I read it though? Shade name. Oh, Smoky Rose. So this is the shade Smoky Rose, and it is the most beautiful neutral pink. If you like a pink nail, but you don't want anything too loud, you don't want anything that's going to like call too much attention to itself, this is fabulous. Again, same. it has pretty much the same kind of brush tip as the OPI. This one, though, I think is a little bit wider and a little bit more flat, so it makes application just that much more easier. Uh, it makes it uh, really easy to get down there at the bottom of the cuticle and along the sides because it has more of that flat kind of applicator tip. Really, really beautiful. As for the color, it is absolutely stunning. This is the most perfect neutral pink. There's that beautiful hint of kind of rosiness to it, but there is a gorgeous neutrality to it as well. This is going to look good on pretty much any skin tone. Uh, it is going to go with any color, uh, any whatever you decide to wear it with. Uh, this is one of my very, very favorite colors to wear, especially during the winter. Uh, in the winter, I tend to wear a lot of dark colors. I wear a lot of blacks and uh, deep purples and deep greens. Uh, in this color, because it's a little bit lighter, it tends to contrast with darker clothing and it just looks so, so pretty. I love this color so, so much. And again, it is a nude color. When in doubt, go nude. When in doubt, go nude. The next nude I want to talk about is something a little bit deeper and a little bit more gray. Uh, and this is from Believe Beauty, believe it or not. This is Believe Beauty Nail Lacquer in the shade Sweater Weather. And this, again, is one of my very, very favorite fall winter shades. This is so beautiful. It looks so pretty on the, sk uh, on the, on the skin. It looks so pretty on the nails. Uh, there is something a little bit, it's neutral but vampy. I don't even know how to explain it so much because it is uh, a little bit more of a deeper kind of neutral shade. It goes on and it's got a little bit of edginess, a little bit of attitude while still being timeless and classic. That is the shade right there. There is the tiniest bit of a mauve rosiness to it, but there's also a little bit of purple there. There's a little bit of gray. It is such an interesting tone. And I know, guys, I am all about color and bright, bold, beautiful uh, makeup. When it comes to my nails, though, I really can appreciate a gorgeous nude color. On top of that, because it's from Believe Beauty, it's incredibly affordable. I think this is under five bucks. Uh, I enjoy the packaging of this as well. Uh, not my favorite uh, topper. The packaging isn't the best. It's kind of cheap, uh, but you, sometimes you get what you pay for. However, the formula of the nail polish inside is fabulous. Very quick drying, easy to use. I like the brush tip applicator. It, it, th there's not too much to complain about here. And also on top of that, I just think the color is so, so perfect. I love it so, so much. Do I have one more nude I wanted to talk about? I do. So the last one I want, the last nude I want to talk about is this one from OPI. Uh, so this is the OPI in shade Chocolate Mousse. And this one is just, this one I like for spring, believe it or not. It has a little bit of a terracotta flair to it uh, that just is, to me, so appropriate. It's beautiful in uh, winter and fall as well. Uh, definitely not a spring shade in my opinion, but there is something about this tone that is just so so unique. And again, OPI is one of my very, very favorite brands of nail polish in general. It's a classic. It's like one of the originators. Just easy to use. I love it. So glossy and easy to use. But just look at that color. It's got a little bit of that terracotta kind of flair to it, but it's still incredibly neutral. But also it's a little bit brown. It's just such a pretty, pretty color. Now, uh, the more neutral shades, I do not like to put on my toes. Uh, I like brighter colors on my toes uh, just because I just like brighter colors on my toes, I guess. Uh, but when it comes to my nails, 
every time I use one of these colors on my nails, I just feel, I feel so bougie. They're bougie colors. I just feel so bougie. I feel sophisticated and classy and timeless. And I just really, really adore it. Uh, so again, that shade name was Chocolate Mousse. And it is just, oh, it's so, so pretty. It's just like a really beautiful kind of like orangey, uh, orangey milk chocolate kind of, oh, it's so, so pretty. Now, the next color I think everyone should have in their collection is a light pink. Again, light pink, especially right now, uh, is having a resurgence with the glazed donut nails, things like that. A light pink is a must-have, especially for spring and summer. Uh, this one is another one by OPI. This one is in the shade uh, Indefinitely Baby, and it is the most timeless, classic baby pink color. Uh, it is more of a cool toned baby pink as most baby pinks are, but it is stunning. When it comes to more of these kind of pastel milky colors, it oftentimes it is so easy for them to be streaky and patchy. You end up having to go in with three or four coats to get like full opaque coverage. But again, with OPI, I never have that problem. It just always goes on so effortlessly uh, and easily. I never have to worry about trying to put a million coats on. It's never patchy. It's just, oh, it's so, so pretty. And this color is absolutely everything. It is the quintessential baby cool toned, just like cotton candy pink. It is fabulous. Again, this is another one of those colors that is gonna look good on absolutely everybody. This color in particular is probably one of my favorites and I love all of these but this one in specific, like specifically, is one of my very favorites in the entire video. There's something about this shade of pink that just invokes romance and feminine, like just like it, it brings out my feminine energy and I just feel gorgeous and just, huh, I just feel girly and pretty uh, when I have this on my hands. Isn't that just such a pretty, pretty color? love it so so much again what shade was that again y'all if you have any questions just leave me a comment I will of course make sure I put a full list of all of these down in the description box uh, if you go to check the description box and it isn't down there yet why are you not going on am I being uh if it isn't down there yet when you go check uh for some reason my phone won't let me upload when I have the description box filled out. I don't know why. Uh, super, super irritating, but I will go back later and I will fill out the description box. So just give me time and I will make sure I put all the information down there for you. Indefinitely baby. Such a like quintessential bubblegum baby pink. So, so pretty. Now let's get into some fun colors. Believe it or not, green is one of my very, very favorite colors to wear on my nails like ever. Uh, and I think a lot of people underestimate green. Green has the power to be fun. It has the power to be funky. It has the power to be timeless as well. Green is one of those colors that is surprisingly versatile. Uh, so the first one I wanna talk about is a really beautiful, olive green and it's OPI again. Guys, OPI really is my favorite brand of nail polish. This is just the shade olive for green and it is the most perfect olive green. It is the perfect olive green. You don't find a lot of brands releasing olive greens. It's not a color that is super, super common, but this, let me tell you, it's, it's almost the exact same color as my tank top. But when I tell you, this is one of the most gorgeous olive green colors I have ever, ever used. It is perfect. Uh, olive green, it is just, it, it makes people notice. People notice this color. Uh, there hasn't been a time where I've worn this on my hands and somebody hasn't stopped me and said, oh my goodness, what are, what is that color? I always get compliments on this. It is the most perfect. It's not too deep. It's not too dark. It's not like, it's not uh, into vampy territory uh, or like deep and moody, but it is, it manages to be colorful, but timeless at the same time. There is something about a good olive. And of course, I really like this during us uh, fall and winter. That's when I get the most use out of this color. There's something about this deep olive tone, uh, and especially on lighter skin tones, it really pulls out the olive in the skin and makes your skin look a little bit more tan, uh, especially in the winter when we're all pale and pasty. Definitely can use that. Uh, and it just, it brings out all of the wonderful things in a 
uh, paler complexion uh, without bringing out like the sallowness, right? Because oftentimes, sometimes uh, green can kind of pull out the yellow or blue in our skin and not be super flattering. But there's something about this olive tone that brings out more of those like golden rosy tones in the skin that really just makes you look healthy and almost kind of tan and uh, like porcelain and, and it's so, so pretty. This color, oh, oh, I love it so, so much. Again, that was olive for green. The next green I want to talk about is something a little fun and funky. This is the Sally Henson Color Foil uh, Nail Polish. This is in the shade Cutting Hedge, and this is such a cool nail color. Uh, it does have a little bit more of that olivey kind of undertone to it, but it is full-blown freaking melted metal on the nails. It is fabulous. I adore Check my bat wings. I adore this color so, so much. So that is it right there. Uh, it, it doesn't really carry so much color as it does shine. Uh, now this nail polish does come in, uh, I think three or four different colors. It is a fairly new release from Sally Henson. But the thing I love the most about it is it gives you that hint of color, but it's basically just gorgeous metallic shine. It is so pretty because it's a metallic uh, nail polish, super, super fast drying as well. It is so, so pretty. Uh, it is really easy to use this to do any kind of detail work, uh, things like that, but even just fully all over the nails, it is a statement. Uh, it's definitely a statement. Uh, so, I mean, it's not for the faint of heart, but if you are willing to go there, it is so, so pretty. Such a fun, interesting, unique kind of color. And then last but not least, this one right here. Uh, so this is the Color Club Nail Lacquer in the shade Yellen Yellow. And this, this is the most insane neon yellow I, in my entire collection. It is my favorite neon yellow in my entire collection. It is, it is so good. Uh, neons are so hard to make. And I think out of all of my nail polishes, Color Club does neons the absolute best. They do neons and pastels the best out of any other brand. Uh, like Neons are super easy to be patchy and streaky uh, and just not lay down evenly. They really can be sometimes very hard to use, but Color Club, y'all, they did it right. They did it right with this shade right here. And you wanna talk about the most perfect summer color. It is absolutely phenomenal. And again, it's another one of those colors that every single time I wear, I get so many comments and compliments on my nails. People, it just kind of catches the eye in such a fun way. So this is the color right there. It is, it is so perfect. Uh, I don't know if it's green or yellow. Uh, I, my son and I argue about it all the time. I think it's yellow. He thinks it's green. Uh, it might be green. It might be yellow. To, to each their own. Either way, this is the most fun, bright, neon kind of yellow green. It is perfect. On top of that, again, it just goes on so beautifully. Uh, you do need a, a good two or three coats to get a full opaque like uh, lay down of this, but again, it uh, dries pretty quickly. It's not streaky or patchy. It doesn't lift on itself to such a great, great color. And oh, it's just absolutely perfect. I love that so, so much. I highly recommend any of the neon colors from Color Club. Uh, they're just super, super good. Again, neons and pastels from this brand in particular are some of my, are my very, very favorites. Let's go into my next Color Club one. I have a couple of Color Club colors or shades here that I wanted to highlight. Uh, the next one is in the shade Talk to the Hand this one. This one is another super fun summer shade for me. Uh, this is just a really like almost a fluorescent peach. It is so pretty. It's somewhere between a peach and a coral. But the reason I wanted to highlight this shade in particular is because it does something to fair skin. I could, I could imagine this on like a deeper skin tone and it would be absolutely stunning. Like the contrast of this light kind of milky pastel against a really gorgeous like deep tan skin tone would be just oh, mouth-wateringly beautiful. But uh, on my very fair skin, it makes me look so tan. It makes me look, oh, it is, mine is all messed up. My son uh, got into it and shook it too hard and the top is trying to come off. Oh, there we go. But this color in particular, it just does something to the skin 
and it makes you look so sun-kissed. Uh, and especially in the summer, when I don't want to look pasty, I don't want to pull out those ivory tones in my skin, I look for things that kind of make me look a little bit more bronzy and sun-kissed. And like, I actually, you know, step a foot outside my house in the summer. This color does that for me. It is fantastic fantastic. Uh, now it's probably not the best color for me, uh, just because it is, it, it, it's a little close to my skin tone, but it just looks so pretty. It just looks so pretty on my hands. I just can't get over it. Also, it walks that line between peach and coral. You guys know how I feel about coral. My absolute favorite. I adore this tone. I do think that if you were just a little bit more yellow than me, uh, cause I have quite a pink undertone. I think that if you were just a little bit more yellow than me, this would look fabulous on you. It is such a pretty, pretty color. So, so good. And again, that was the Color Club uh, Nail Lacquer in the shade Talk to the Hand. So, so nice. Last but not least from Color Club, I have the shade uh, Montego Bay. And this is my favorite blue in my entire collection. This is the most gorgeous, gorgeous blue. And again, it's got that neon pastel milky kind of thing that most of the Color Club uh, nail, nail, nail stutter nail polishes have uh, that I think is so specific to this brand in general. So, so pretty. Uh, it is just, and this blue is absolutely everything. It is somewhere between an ocean blue and a teal. And the reason I like this color uh, in like specifically is just how opaque it is. Y'all, this is like one coat coverage. It is stunning. It is so, so pretty. Now, they don't have the fastest dry time out of all of my uh, nail polishes, but I do think that it's worth the wait because it is so, so pretty. And again, it just does something to the skin where it just pulls out. It just, it makes you see, it makes you glow almost. This color is one of those colors that just kind of makes you glow, kind of neutralizes any kind of sallowness in the skin for some reason, and just really makes you look so healthy, uh, makes your, the skin on your hands look so healthy. I adore this color so, so much. Uh, let's go into the next uh, category that I think everyone should have in their collection, and that is a bright pink. Uh, this is a Salon Perfect nail polish. I really enjoy both the Salon Perfect press-on nails and their nail polishes. Their nail polishes are uh, not these ones in particular. We're, we're going to get to my favorites, uh, but they're so good. They're so, so good. This shade is the shade O oh Snap. And again, this is one of my very, very favorite spring slash summer colors. There is something about this bright kind of poppy pink color that just looks so pretty on absolutely everyone. And y'all, we all know that pink is one of those colors that just everybody just loves so, so much, unless you just really, really hate it. But this is such a pretty, pretty pink. Uh, again, it's not too cool toned, but it's not too warm toned either. So, uh, and because of that, it just looks good on just about any skin tone. It is bright and poppy, fully opaque. It just goes on one swipe coverage. Uh, it's just really, really pretty. This shade in particular is one that I adore wearing on my toes. I love this shade on my toes. Just makes my toes look so cute uh, and fun and summery. Such a pretty, pretty color. Uh, let's go into, oh, a yellow. I think yellow nail polish is one of the colors that is so sadly neglected. You get sometimes colors like this and you get sometimes colors like this, but very rarely do you get a color like this that's actually good. Yellow is so hard to formulate when it comes to nail polish. Oftentimes when you get a yellow nail polish, it's either super, super clear and, um, and sheer and it doesn't really give you that hit that you're looking for uh, or it's clumpy or it's streaky and it's patchy y'all this is the sally henson insta dry nail polish in the shade uh my mica banana mica banana this one absolutely fabulous it is my favorite yellow in my entire collection it is beautifully opaque it's easy to work with it doesn't you still do need to use maybe one or two uh coats of this uh, because it is beautiful as it is. Uh, it does kind of, it's not perfect, but so two coats, but you're good to go. Uh, and because it's the Insta Dry by Sally Henson, uh, it does dry fairly fat, uh, fairly quickly. Y'all that yellow is perfect. Uh, and the reason I like this shade of yellow in particular is because it's not too green and it's not too like it's not mustardy or golden. It's just a really beautiful, happy, sunshiny yellow. It is so, so pretty. Uh, and it, 
nail, like yellow nail polish is also kind of rare. Uh, a good yellow nail polish, at least in my experience, is kind of rare. And this one is just like mwah, chef's kiss. It is so, so perfect. So the Sally Hansen Insta Dry in Micro Banana. So, so good. Now, I want to go into glitters and then I will let you go. Uh, glitter nail polish is one of those things that I cannot live without, uh, especially if I'm in a rush kind of didn't do the best job on painting my nails glitter always comes in and saves the day for me every single time a good glitter top coat and you are good to go uh, oftentimes if I'm just in a rush and I don't really have a lot of time uh, to like fix up my nail polish uh, and it's kind of not looking the best I'll just put a little bit of glitter nail polish over top of it and come back to it later glitter fixes everything uh, especially where nail polish is concerned and these four colors I think that if you have all four of these in your collection, uh, they'll go with any nail polish you decide to pair them with. Uh, so the first of which is this one. And this was the Salon Perfect nail polish that is my absolute favorite. Uh, this is the Ultra Reflective Glitter Nail Polish from Salon Perfect. Beautifully affordable. This is in the shade Flashing Lights. And this goes with freaking everything. This is probably the most beautiful glitter nail polish like in my entire collection and versatile as well. There is something about the color of this that just is, it looks very, very silver uh, in the bottle, but when it goes on, it is it is very much holographic. Uh, it's not so much silver as it is just beautifully reflective. So you have a slightly colored, slightly grayish kind of colored base to it, uh, but mostly it's just glitter and it is so beautifully reflective. Uh, I, this just looks pretty over everything, uh, specifically deeper colors. I really, really enjoy this color over deeper colors like black uh, and olives and just anything that's a little bit deeper and a little bit vampier uh, because the silver is going to complement those cooler tones. It just looks so, so pretty. The two play off each other so so well uh, and again pretty quick drying as well uh, most glitter nail polishes are going to be fairly quick drying but this is just it is so reflective and so pretty i also enjoy how micro the glitter is in here uh, and there are so many glitter nail polishes out there innumerable innumerable amounts of them and uh, varying uh, sizes of glitter. You have things that are super chunky and super, super tiny. Uh, but this one I think is kind of just perfect, especially if you want a full coverage glitter. Uh, you do need to build this up in like two or three layers to get a fully opaque glitter layer on the nails. But again, it dries pretty quickly uh, and it just, it plays well with itself, I guess, because uh, it's very easy to layer up but it is so nice. And again, it's one of those kind of topper glitters that just looks so pretty on just about everything. I adore this so, so very much. And then in the same vein, uh, I have I have this in every shade that it comes in because I really do just adore this formula so, so much. They have a white one, they have a pink one, they have a black one. Uh, there is a glitter shade in this formula for just about any need. Uh, and I, I love them all. They're so, they're all equally as good. Uh, but this one I think is the one that is the most versatile. Uh, the next one is Color Club. And this one is my favorite, my favorite pink glitter nail polish of all time. It is phenomenal. This is the Color Club Glitter Nail Polish in the shade Seriously Fun. Uh, and my favorite is to pair these two together. You want to talk about the most beautiful princess nail you've ever had in your life. Pair these two together. It is, oh, it is so, so good. This one is just, this one is definitely a little bit chunkier than the Salon Perfect. The particles of glitter are much bigger, but the reason I like this is because it's not just chunky glitter. Uh, there are a multitude of different sizes of glitter, so that way you get bigger pieces to like refract and reflect the light, but then you have smaller pieces to add sparkle. It is stunning. This is just a perfectly done pink glitter nail polish. It's perfect. The next one is a Sally Henson Insta Dry. This is one of the chunkiest nail polishes, the chunkiest glitter nail polishes in my collection. This is in the shades Twinkle Twinkle. Yeah, 104 Twinkle Twinkle. Again, this is one of those glitter nail polishes that is just gonna go perfect with everything. But it is super chunky. Uh, this is one of those things that you're gonna you're gonna have to do like maybe a couple of coats with because the glitter is so chunky. And it is just a little bit difficult to get it off of the brush but once you get it onto the nail it is so so pretty it is very big 
chunky glitter. Uh, now there are some smaller like reflex and particles in there, but for the most part, it is just big chunky glitter. It goes on uh, and oftentimes instead of using this as a glitter, I will use this as a top coat. It just kind of adds a little bit of something extra to the nail. Uh, so if you don't want like just a bunch of sparkle or a bunch of glitter uh, and you just want like a little a few pieces of pop of glitter on the nail, this is really nice. Now, this isn't my favorite out of the glitters that I pulled today. But just in case uh, you were looking for something that was a little bit chunkier, uh, this is nice. In general, when it comes to glitter nail polish, I prefer things that are a little bit more smaller, uh, more smaller, that are a little bit smaller, just because you get better coverage that way. Uh, but if you're looking for something chunky, this is my favorite chunky one that I have. And then last but not least is this one right here. Now this is the Sally Henson Extreme Wear Nail Polish. And this one is in the shade Birthday Cake, I believe. This is one of my older ones. No, strobe light. And this one is, again, very universal. Uh, it is it is probably the most holographic out of all of the glitters that I pulled today because it has so many different colors inside it. Uh, it pretty much looks like confetti to me. Uh, but the reason I pulled this one is because it is, again, super versatile. Because there are so many different reflex of glitter in here, it looks good over just about anything. It looks good over blue. It looks good over pink. It looks good over uh, green and purple because there's all those little teeny tiny reflex of it in there. I don't know if you guys, are my nails dirty? No, they're not. So if, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it definitely, it looks like, it looks like confetti. Uh, it just is super, super pretty. And again, very like teeny, teeny little glitter reflex in there. So you get a nice covering of glitter without it being too much. Uh, so you can really customize your opacity here. So you can go in with a light layer and just get like a little dusting of glitter, or you can go in heavy and build it up to a fully opaque kind of glitter layer on the nail. Either way, uh, there's just super, super pretty. Guys, that is it for me today. Uh, very, very long video, but again, again, it's just one of those subjects that I'm super, super passionate about. Uh, I love you so, so very much. Uh, as always, no filters, no edits, no fancy lighting. It's just me sitting in front of my camera playing with some nail polish, hoping you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. And until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember, you're important. Bye.